cold ramen noodles topped it with your favorite toppings. So my grandfather uh, started the Taishoken 70 years ago in Tokyo, and then I brought their business here last year. What's up, travel heads? I'm here at the first Taishoken in the U.S., sister to Taishoken Nakano, or Nakano, and also the birthplace of Skumen Ramen. Why don't we go check it out now? One thing about Taishoken is they're known for their dipping ramen. And what is that exactly? It's skumen ramen, so what it is is the broth is on the side. Usually the noodles are a little bit thicker, but it's known for taking your noodles and dipping it into the sauce instead of eating it with the broth itself. Yeah, so that's something different and I've never had that before, so I'm curious of how it's gonna taste, so let's go. Skumen, a dipping noodle loved by many was invented in Nakano Taishoken. On hot summer days, the staff would eat the cold leftover noodles by dipping it into a hot soup. Curious customers began requesting this dish, and it was soon put on the restaurant menu. We had the chance to speak to the owner of Taishoken, Yoshihiro Sakaguchi, aka Yoshi. So my grandfather uh, started the Taishoken 70 years ago in Tokyo, and then I brought their business here last year. I was working for a ramen chef um, 10 years. My favorite ramen yeah. is, um, of course, uh, the tsukemen we serve, the thick noodle and hot broth. I definitely recommend the dipping ramen. It's got tsukemen. That's our signature, so. Oh, what is tsukemen ramen? It's kind of ramen, but uh, we serve a thick and cold noodle and then hot broth. It's actually separate, so you dip the noodle into the broth. So you can enjoy the texture of the noodle. All right, guys. So we got our order right here. I have the skumen ramen, which is what they're known for. And you over here. I got the spicy ajikama ramen. Mm -hmm. So they have plenty of onions, pork, eggs, and a nice amount of spice to it. Okay. Yeah. Big broth. I mean, check this out. I actually want to check out the broth. That's really good. Very rich. Oh, that's strong. But to mix everything in right now. So we got the beef right here, the pork. That's what they're known for, the pork. The seaweed. And what I love most. The ah, I can't get this out. The eggs. So I'm going to try the noodle without the broth first. Mm -hmm. It's chewy. The, the noodles are chewy. How's yours? Yours is thin noodle. So the noodles itself is really like not too chewy. It's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. The broth is really good too. It's rich, but it doesn't feel too heavy. It's regular thin noodles, mm -hmm. uh, spicy broth, there's garlic, uh, pork miso in it. Oh wow. Uh, probably the best ramen I've probably had so far. The regular ramen is really good too. Like, can't knock it. So I'm gonna try the noodles with the dipping broth, which is what they're known for. Dip that bad boy. That's too much. Let's do it. Get in there. And you're supposed to slurp, like they say. Slurping it. The louder you slurp, the more it's like basically you're saying it's really good. Let's try the slurping game. That was fast. How was it? You taste the pepper in there. It's really good though. The flavor is there. I mean, if you just drink the broth by itself or taking a rich. sip, it's really rich and strong, right? But if you add the um, noodles with it, it's a balance right there. So I get this. I get why they have the soup on the side. That's why you don't pour the whole soup into the noodles because it changes the flavor. For me, I like my noodles, um, the texture chewy, so this is perfect, this one. I'm actually going to try to grab a longer string of it and see how much I can actually slurp. And that pork chashu is probably one of the best. Hey Dennis, you think I could finish all this in one slur? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. That's a lot. <laughs> let's try it out. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I was right. I was right. I'm buying my dinner tonight. I was right. I did it. So I have yet to try the pork with the soup. So I'm gonna have to try that. That pork is on another level. Mm -hmm. Wow, that rich soup. I think the broth has um, tonkatsu, chicken, anchovy, fried anchovy, I'm not sure, and anito. So there's like a four spices in these um, broth. So I'm gonna try the pork now, tonkatsu. 
Wow. Dude, that's good, right? That pork is really good. The texture of the pork. Right? Dude, yeah. this is. Not only is it good, wow. it doesn't only melt in your mouth. It's a huge piece of concoction. And add to adding the dipping drop on it, that puts so much rich flavor right. into it. Key component the egg. Yolk, it needs to have the yolk um, liquidy, you know. I love my um, the egg with the yolk, very liquidy. And I don't want to just taste a regular egg yolk. I like to taste that rich flavor of the egg yolk. Unctuous, or however you say it, I, I like my egg, um, the yolk to be liquidy. Let's see, this is the moment of truth. Oh, yeah, that yeah. egg is all good, right? The richness is there. Oh. Try this fatty meat, dip a little of it into the sauce. Ooh. Okay, right now. This is all good. You telling me you're not enjoying this? Yeah. I am, I am. Come on. I'm really surprised of how the broth makes a huge difference. Dang, you're already finished with your food. So oh, that good. You see, I'm over here just trying good. to film, and he already finished it. It's that good, like you said. That good. Pashokin is the first ever skumen ramen noodle. And it's an honor. Look, I'm like eating it. Doing this? Don't do that. No. Don't do that. You gotta get checked out and do that. Ramen. No. Don't do it. So they say the reason why you slurp ramen in Japan is because it enhances the flavor of the ramen when you keep slurping in it compared to if you just bite chew, bite chew. So it cools it down too. So wow, holy crap. Putting that broth into the egg. Holy Is that good? Yeah, dude. Oh, you don't have an egg no more, but that flavor, dude, it's a mixture of deliciousness. I gotta do it again. I'm surprised. You can purchase the meal kit, which either consists of noodle soup or the popular skewman ramen. Alright guys, that's it for our Thai Shokin video. It was such an amazing experience. Not only the kitchen experience, but just trying out skewman, skewman. How we say ramen. Skumen ramen. That's a different experience also. So even having wow. your traditional ramen. Still one of the best ramen I ever had. Uh, make sure to get yourself a meal kit if you do stop by. It's gonna be really good. Yeah. Um, man, I can't wait to come back here. Yeah, I definitely gotta come back here. That skumen ramen was something else for a first time too. Wow. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, we're not done with this ramen series, so continue on. Until then, travel heads.